All right, guys. So for real, for real, you can the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus really edit 4K footage just like a laptop, like just like that. Can it do it? Let's find out. Hey, what's going on people? It's Tech Jamo. If you're new to this channel, well done for finding us. If you could do me a big favor and hit that subscribe and notification bell so you can be with us on all the future videos. Now, Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. Bare specs, biggest bad boy Android tablet in the game as of now. Snapdragon 865 Plus, eight gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage, SD card, 120 hertz screen, 2K screen, 12.4 inches. Fam, the pricing is a lot, yeah? The pricing is in that category where you'd actually get a decent laptop. So I wanted to see whether you could actually use it as a laptop and edit some 4K footage. All right, guys, so the plan is to first shoot the 4K footage on the Sony ZV-1. Um, we're gonna be recording a little unboxing of these Banggood gaming speakers. Um, and yeah, we're gonna just shoot everything in 4K. What I'm shooting this video right now on is the Sony Xperia 5 Mark II smartphone, and that is also being shot in 4K. So 4K, everything you're gonna be seeing from now on, everything is gonna be edited in 4K on this Samsung <laughs> Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. So yeah, let me get to the filming, and then we'll get to the file transfer situation. All right, step one is complete. These have been unboxed and filmed on the Sony ZV-1 and I've got the young SD card. Step two now is to get all the footage from the SD card onto the tablet. And obviously the tablet doesn't have an SD card reader, nor does it have a headphone jack. That's another situation to talk about another day. Now, what we got here is a USB-C dock and these things are really dope. They've usually got micro SD card slots, SD card slots, HDMIs, ethernet ports, USB ports. They got all the ports in it. So man's gonna try and put this in with one hand and we're gonna try and get the tra the file transfer thing going. Okay, okay, let me just cut to the file transfer. All right, so the file transfer is complete. I've put them in an SD card under movies and then under another folder called 4K video. So all those videos are there of the unboxing. Now, I guess we just open the video editing app. Um, we're gonna use Cyberlink Power Editor and Power Director, sorry. And yeah, we're gonna do some, do some editing on it. 16 by nine, all right. And uh, let's get these these files open. This is the first one. Let's just slap that on the timeline and see how well it plays. For better performance, do you want to convert this to ultra video? Now nah, use the original. Right, here's the preview. Oh, not bad. I mean, it's getting there. It's getting there, kind of. So that's all the A-roll sorted out. And then I'm gonna put some, a little bit of B-roll of the speakers on top at certain sections. That'll do. That will do. Let's get that downloaded. All right, so got the video, got the music there. Um, let's make this bigger because I want the music to cut in from a specific section. Oh, okay, we just type. Tech, Jamo. Hey, what does this look like? Yep, that, that's all right. There we go. Stop that there. Oh, God damn it. Oh, why did, every time I click on something, does it reset the position of the marker? Right, guys, here's where I expect things to get tricky. I'm about to overlay some 4K footage over the 4K footage, which is already on the first video track of the timeline. So let's see how this goes. Fingers crossed kind of thing, innit? For better performance, all Ultra HD videos on the video's overlay track are auto-converted for full, to full HD for editing. The available number of video overlays depends on the hardware's capabilities, damn. Okay, so what we're gonna do first of all is we're gonna take the volume all the way down on the overlay tracks. There we go. All right, we've got some overlay going down. Let's see how that works. Yeah, I'll allow them for that. Um, RGB lights, I think it's just the RGB lights which have all right, guys, Man, Man is done editing. I've got a couple pieces of B-roll here. I've got my main A-roll. Um, I've got the transitions that I want. Uh, I don't really use that much transitions anyway. I might, might put one here as well. Um, let's put one there. It's a nice, simple blur. I'll just show you bits of it. There 
Here we go. All right, so let's get the tees down unboxed. Pretty good. If I just scrub through it. Beakers. <laughs> but that's the inside of the box, guys. Um, there's no polystyrene holding the speakers in. Look at that. This cable, which is soldered to the unit. Jack. But anyway, let's get it connected to the laptop. So what I understand at the moment is that the A roll is in 4K and the B roll has been converted to 1080p just for editing purposes. So we shall see how the whole thing looks when it's uploaded in 4K. All right, it's time to get the thing processed and finalized. Let's go to settings. Check that the thing is on the best quality possible, best quality bit rate, internal storage, 30 frames per second, can go up to 60, but I've only shot in 30, so we'll keep it at that. Ultra HD 4K. Um, let's get the timer ready. Three, two, one, produce. And let's set that timer. All right, four minutes and 26 seconds to edit seven minutes of 4K 30 frames per second footage. Uh, let's see how it looks in the player. That looks good to me. All right, so let's get the teens them unboxed. Pretty plain boxing experience panel system, so I'm not sure how it's feeling. Yeah, it looks good to me, guys. Look at that. All right, so the link to this video is in the description section if you want to watch how 4K it is. Um, guys, I think it's fair to say, long story short, you can definitely, not even at a pinch, you can definitely confidently edit 4K footage on a tablet. That's mad. I think this is even more efficient than my laptop, to be honest. Um, yeah, no, that was a decent experience. Obviously, I was using PowerDirector. There are some things that I love on Filmora that I don't have on PowerDirector, such as your A-roll. You can't even see where the sound signatures are or where the sound wave is. So, um, yeah, that's kind of annoying when knowing where there's a cue of speaking and stuff like that. You can't see that on this. You have to just scrub the video and listen. Um, and, yeah, there's just a couple of other features that we have on other full fat video editors that we don't have yet on power director but power director is still very good for what it does for tablet use and to be honest for my videos as you already know they're very simplistic i'm literally doing an unboxing or i'm talking about a product they're very vlog style i'm just filming either myself or the product or some scenery or if i want to get flashy i'll try and do some b-roll in it but yeah guys um i'm very much impressed with the samsung galaxy tab s7 plus's performance when editing video um i think i might even take it on holiday and edit some video there if i'm bored <laughs> usually i just wait until i come back to edit the video but yeah guys thanks for watching leave a comment in the comment section below subscribe and like and um, maybe next time we'll do some stuff on samsung decks and get that desktop experience but for now bless outs